In this video, I'm giving you a full course on how to create AI ads in 2026. And by the end of it, you'll be able to make ads just like this one. I'm going to break down the two main ways to create AI ads in the simplest, most straightforward way possible. So you walk away with full control over the two most powerful workflows to start producing your own ads today. The tool we're going to be using to create our AI ads is called Arcads. I want to be upfront. Arcads is sponsoring this video, but my recommendation is 100% genuine. And the reason I love using it is that it has all the most powerful models, plus a bunch of features that help you increase the realism of your ads in a really big way. And everything is packaged in a super simple interface that's genuinely easy to navigate. So when you first log into Arcads, on the left, you'll want to click New Project. And this is the workspace we'll be using. Let me walk you through the key features inside this interface. Talking Actors, which is a really powerful way of creating ads with AI actors that talk, move, and sound like real humans. But we'll cover that more in the two ways of creating AI ads. Next is Video. This is where you can actually generate videos inside Arcads using some of the most powerful models like Sora and Google Vio. Image, this is where you can create images with really powerful models like Nano Banana Pro. And in the See More section, you have all the super helpful features that help to get your ads to a different level. With that being said, let's jump into our first method. And for that, we'll start off in the image section. And the reason we're starting with images is because if you first create an image and then turn that image into a video, you get a lot more control. You already have a clear picture of what your ad is supposed to look like before you even start animating anything. The ad I'm gonna make is for a water bottle. So once we're in the image tab, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the right model selected. I'm going with Nano Banana Pro because right now it's the best model for creating images and then editing them after. And that's perfect for ads because you get full control over everything in the scene. For the format, I'm choosing 16 to 9 because this will be a landscape ad. If you're creating ads for short form content, obviously you'd pick 9 to 16 instead. Now we can add our prompt. For the first one, we're not attaching any reference image because we just want to create our base shot. So I'll write this for the prompt, a minimal modern Gen Z inspired water bottle in a solid pastel color palette, lavender, mint, soft blue, or matte peach. The bottle has a smooth, seamless design with rounded edges, a matte finish, and a subtle embossed logo. It feels premium yet playful, lightweight, eco-friendly, and reusable, styled in a bright, aesthetic setting with soft natural lighting, crisp shadows, and a clean background. The vibe is motivational and inspiring, like something you'd see on TikTok or a trendy lifestyle ad. The camera highlights the bottle's texture, color, and sleek silhouette, giving it a fresh, uplifting energy, and click generate. And honestly, Honestly, the result is super clean. It's basically exactly what I imagined. The only thing missing is a handle on the right side. And the reason I didn't include that in the first prompt is because I want to show you how easy it is to add things like that afterward with Nano Banana. So what I'll do is download this image, import it back into the prompt field, and then write something like, add a handle on the right side of the bottle. And then I'll click generate again. And now we get a new version with the handle added perfectly without it looking weird or unrealistic. So this is gonna be our starting shot of the product. I also want to add some animated text into the ad. So for the next prompt, I'll upload this updated image again and write the prompt for the text animation. Add aqua headline at the middle of the screen as if it is a representation of the product's name and a sub headline with a with you at all times text as a slogan. It's all done in a kind of soft rounded minimalistic text and looks like a cool promo headline. And it gives us this really cool futuristic looking text that fits nicely for an ad. In this ad, I want three different examples of people in different environments using the cup because I want to show that it's something you can use in basically any situation. So I'm going to create three different shots of people using this cup in different scenarios. First, I upload the product image again. For the first shot, I'm writing, make a shot of a woman walking her stroller on an American suburban street with the cup placed in the cup holder on the stroller. And the result we get is genuinely really good. It's clean, high quality, and there's nothing to point out. For the next shot, I'm going with the gym environment because a water bottle fits that setting. So I repeat the same process, and this time in the prompt, I write, make a front-facing shot of a woman running on a treadmill with the cup clearly placed in the cup holder on the treadmill. She's mid-run, so she looks visibly tired. I generate it, and again, it's super solid. She looks tired exactly like we described, so it fits the prompt perfectly. For the last shot, I'm going with an office environment. Here, I want something a little more dramatic. So for this one, I write, make a side shot of a person sitting at a desk in an office environment, clearly frustrated with whatever is going on in their work. They're looking at their monitor, unhappy. The cup from the reference image should be standing on the desk on the side facing the camera so it's clearly visible since this is going to be a promo shot. And the reason I'm explaining the reasoning behind some of these details is because when you give the AI the context of what you're trying to achieve, it gives you a much more accurate result. If we just said place the cup on the table, it might put it somewhere completely random because it doesn't understand why it's there. When the AI understands the purpose of the shot, it aligns the composition to match it. Then I click generate and again we get a really nice looking shot. 
With all of our shots ready to go, the only thing left now is to turn them into high quality videos that we can stitch together into a clean final ad. So with that said, let's jump over to the video section. What I love about Arcads is that it actually keeps all of the assets you've generated inside the same project, just in different sections. So even though we're in the video section right now, you can clearly see that all of our images are still available. And this is super useful. And honestly, another reason why I just love using Arcads. So this is gonna be our product. And before we actually put it into the prompt field, let's select the tool we're going to use. For this, I'm gonna go with Google VO 3.1 because it handles people and the environment really well. Sora 2 won't be able to generate shots with real people in them. And you'd see that switch between the two models and your final ad, which is not ideal. So to keep everything consistent, I'm using VO 3.1. I'm going to select 16 to nine again, choose 1080p for the resolution, insert my product image. And then for the prompt, I'm keeping it super simple. Create a slow and natural zoom in shot towards the product. The export will come out as eight seconds, but we'll cut it shorter in the final edit. Now with that set, I'm gonna click generate and this is the result. It's exactly what we described. There's really nothing to point out. It's just a clean, natural zoom in on the product with great lighting. But if you aren't happy with your result, there's a really helpful feature inside Arcads. If you click on the three dots over here and select the option called Remix, it brings back your entire prompt and the reference image you used for that specific shot. That means if something looks slightly off and you know you just need to edit the prompt a bit, you can do that instantly without rebuilding anything from scratch. It's super convenient, but for now, I'll go ahead and grab our next picture with the mom and her stroller. I'll drop that into the prompt field and for the prompt, I'll write a bright warm suburban morning scene with a woman pushing her stroller along a tree-lined sidewalk. The camera slowly zooms in toward the pastel colored water bottle as she walks. Her expression becomes clearly happy and refreshed, but still subtle and natural, not exaggerated. The movement is smooth, slightly fast, but realistic with fluid motion, soft sunlight, clean shadows, crisp colors, and an uplifting lifestyle energy throughout. Then we send that prompt and this is the result we get back. A really nice shot of her with the bottle clearly being the main subject. It's done incredibly well and making something like this manually would take a ton of time if it wasn't for AI. With that being said, let's grab the rest of our frames. I'm going to go ahead and do the running woman next. I'll paste in my prompt and send that in. And while that one is generating, I'll paste the prompt for the guy in the office. Once both results are done, we can take a look at them. And both of them came out looking really good and natural. It all loads incredibly fast. And as I mentioned earlier, it's super easy to tweak anything if you need to. Now I want to create the ending shot with the logo of our product appearing. So what I'm going to do is open the video we made from our first shot and scrub to the point where I want the ad to begin fading to the ending animation. Then I'll take a screenshot of that frame, bring it back into the prompt field and set that as our starting frame. And then for the ending frame, I'll upload the version with the logo already placed in. Then I'll write my prompt, animate the text appearing on the screen in a style that matches the overall aesthetic of the image. It should look smooth and natural, but also a bit snappy. The reason I mentioned the style and the match to the overall aesthetic is because if I don't, the AI might start adding glitch effects or random matrix style visuals out of nowhere. So this just makes sure we keep everything consistent. With that done, I click generate and here is the result. It looks incredibly clean and professionally made. Now let's stitch everything together, add some music, and here is the final result. In my opinion, it comes out looking like a really solid ad for a genuinely cool product that a grown person could use every single day. It shows the cup in three different scenarios, the overall quality is great, and the speed at which we generated all of this is honestly insane. But the key thing here is the workflow itself. This workflow is made for speed and quality. You can take this exact recipe and create any style of ad you want. You have tools that give you a super high-end result. The UI is super easy to navigate and everything is accessible inside one workspace. But sometimes you want even more control over every step of the process. Process. And for that, I'm going to show you the second workflow, which gives you a lot more customization while still producing incredibly good results, fully done by AI. For this next workflow, we're going to switch over to the Talking Actors tab. And here you have one of the most powerful features inside Arcads. When you click on Select Actors and then Create Actor, you'll be able to create your own personal on-hand model. This is a person that stays completely consistent across every shot you create. You can put them in different environments, change their clothes, give them different products, and it's still the same exact person every time. To create one, you want to click 
click here, then click create, and then click generate. This brings up the prompt field. And here you just want to describe what your person should look like. I'm going to go ahead and write a 23 year old natural looking yet beautiful woman influencer. That's it. I'm also going to select the aspect ratio to be nine to 16 and then click generate. Arcads will now give us three different images of how our influencer could look. And here we're free to select whichever one we like. Personally, I think the girl in the middle looks the best, but like I mentioned earlier, you can edit anything you want about this person later. So I'm going to choose the girl in the middle as my starting image. And now I'll write, make it a shot of a person sitting on her sofa. I'll generate that. And now we get three extra variations of this shot that we can use to refine it even more. I'm choosing the one in the middle again, and now I'll write, make her wear a cozy outfit. These are the images we get back and they all look pretty good. I'm going to select the one on the left and now I'm finally going to add my product. For this one, I'm sticking with the water bottle theme, but I'm actually using a real one, the Stanley cup right here. I'm going to import that as my extra image and write this prompt. Make her hold up the water bottle by the handle so it looks like she's showing it off. That last part is important because it makes sure the AI positions her hand and the product in a way that clearly looks like she's presenting it. Otherwise, it might hide the product or place it somewhere random. The result we get back looks really good. It looks super natural and the product stays perfectly consistent. Next, we want to click select your actor. And once we've selected the correct image, we can describe what the actor should do. For me, I'm going to say show off her product naturally. Then I'll click turn her into a talking actor, follow all the steps and wait for the model to be generated. If at any point you want to alter anything about this person, you can just hover over your actor, click the three dots and change whatever you want. You can change the environment, change the clothing, change the product. Everything is fully in your control. Now that we have her selected, we can write the actual script we want her to say. So I'm going to paste in this script right here. And I think it fits perfectly with how our actor is looking. Once that's done, make sure the only human 1.5 model is selected. After that, we can add emotions to the script, which is another super cool feature I've only seen in Arcad so far. When you click here, it will automatically add emotions and you can change them or add your own by deleting them and writing new ones. Once that's set, you can also alter anything about the voice of your character. You may have chosen a voice you were happy with at the beginning, but if you're not, you can change it here. You can also connect 11 labs and pick your own voice or a voice from your library. But the controls right here are what help you make the result perfect. Speed controls how fast your actor talks. So I'll turn it up a little bit. Stability controls how dynamic the speech is. Turning it up will make it more monotone, which is perfect for an AI style actor. But for this one, I'm turning it down to around 20. Finally, similarity controls how similar the outcome is across different generations. I'm turning that down too, because I want as many natural speech motions as I can get. And then I'll turn up style exaggeration to around 55, because that controls the natural emotion in the voice and makes it feel more alive. Now let's take a listen to the final result. Okay, wait, why is this Stanley literally my entire personality now? And it sounds amazing, supernatural, and honestly, you wouldn't believe it's AI. Finally, let's click generate and take a look at the video. Okay, wait, why is this Stanley literally my entire personality now? The handle? Elite. The colors? A vibe. And it keeps my water cold for like 12 hours. And this right here is perfect. It's a really good foundation for our ad. It looks very natural. The model talks in a really natural way. Her lip sync is almost perfect. And the way she shows off the cup looks super, super clean. But of course, we're not done. If we stopped here, it would just be a normal UGC ad. So the next thing we're going to do is add a little bit of B-roll. The first one is going to be the unboxing POV. This is one of the coolest tools I've seen in any AI ad generator because it lets you create an unboxing video of your product. You can choose from a variety of templates. I'm going with the one on the side of a kitchen counter. I'm going to import my image and generate the video. And it looks like a really cool unboxing shot of our exact product. Next up, let me show you a still super useful feature if you are planning on making any ad for an online tool. It's the show your app feature. Here, if you click on it, you can select an actor to showcase your app. It can be an app or a website. Then you can just upload a picture like I'm doing right here. And here's the result we get back. This looks super natural and it can work perfectly as a B-roll to just appear in the actual ad. The feature over here is going to be incredibly powerful if you're doing anything with clothing and it is the fashion feature. Here, you can click on it and pick any model you want from this huge lineup. These are made from super high-end model references and they will wear whatever you want them to. Once you have your model selected, you just drag in the clothing you want your model to wear. I'm gonna go with this jacket and this pair of jeans right here. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and select the aspect ratio to 16 by nine and generate my result. And the result came out looking really, really cool. It's a super useful feature that honestly removes the need to hire models. The next thing I'm going to do to make sure everything is super high quality is upscale all of our footage. So I'm going into the see more section, selecting the upscale option, 
and running all the videos we've made through there. So now you know the two best ways to create AI ads. These two workflows let you create professional looking ads in hours instead of days for a fraction of the cost and with full control over everything from the lighting, camera angles, environment to the way the product itself looks. And all of that is honestly only possible because of our cats. In our cats, you get easy access to all the most professional AI models and they're constantly updating them as new ones come out. So you're never stuck waiting or hunting for some random workaround. They're also rolling out new features all the time to not only make your ads look better, but to actually help them perform. So if you want to start creating AI ads in the best and most simple way possible, go ahead and sign up for Arcad using the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.